welcome to Utique Bridal. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this beautiful birdcage veil and then show you two different ways to style it. So let's get started. Here are the ordinaries you will need in order to complete this project. If you need more time, feel free to press pause and review the list. First, you are going to measure the circumference of your head and then add four inches. So mine is 21 plus 4 equals 25 inches. This will be the total length you will need. Next, lay out the Russian tool and make note of the open end and the folded end. Now divide the total length you need by 2. Mine will be 12 and a half inches. And I'm going to cut straight up from this point. Now I'm going to measure 5 inches up and marking it by placing a pin and four inches in from the outer edge and placing a pin. Now I'm using the pin markers, I'm going to cut at an angle connecting the pins. Next, remove the pins and unfold the tool. You can now clean up the outer edges if you'd like. Now you're going to start sewing all the way around the Russian tool by weaving in and out of the diamond holes. When you get to the very end, make sure the width matches the hair comb. Now for the final step, you're just going to sew and attach it to the hair comb. And you are complete with a birdcage veil. So here are the two ways you can style the birdcage veil. I call the first one over the eye birdcage look. You are going to place the birdcage veil at an angle on your head. You can play around with it and cover one eye or here I'm just going to cover two eyes. And then place the hair pins to hold it in place. If you like this look, you can stop here, but I'm going to add my Cameron Flower Fascinator. And that completes my first look. The next look I call the Fascinator. You can wear the first look to the ceremony and then this look to the reception. So place it at an angle over your head and instead of covering your eye, you're just going to fold it under and then you're just going to have two points at each end. Now fold the points over towards the center, then place the hairpin right in the center to hold it in place. Now the tool is going to be the base of your fascinator. Place on the Cameron Flower Fascinator and you are complete with this look. Well thank you for visiting and I hope you get inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. If you would like to learn how to make the Cameron flower, please click on the flower. If you would like to learn how to prepare a hair comb, please click on the top video. If you would like to see three more ways to wear a birdcage veil, please click on the bottom video.